Here we are again, the same project. What I observe about this uh, three band uh, tone control is the lack of bass, you know, the lack of deep frequencies. And uh, one of the first things I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the output capacitors here. They are 0 0.1 microfarads, 0 0.1 microfarads. And I'm going to have some electrolytics, like 10 microfarads or something. Okay, so the input, it's around seven, both channels, and let's start recording for a reference uh, sound. Everything on medium except the bass. Here we go. We are on two and 31 seconds because we have to, to do the same, exactly the same uh, part. Okay, we can see a very clear amplitude around 24 and back the bass again. That should be enough. This is done. So we have an amplitude here around 24. Let's rewind the song at minute 2 and 30. Let me find two capacitors. Power off, of course. 5 to 10 microfarads. Sanyo, 10 micro. ESL 2.2 ohms. Plus go to the electronics. Minus comes to the output. We are good to go. I can say, because of the song, you know, it, it's a kind of distortion, but that's the way the samplers are. Let me try some other thing. I know it sounds like this, another style, but at least I know this is from a keyboard. Thanks Pete for that, a friend of mine. He's a really talented keyboard player. Listen to the bass. Perfect.
Okay. I'm happy with this result. Now let's replace the other IC. Stop here with another GRC 4565. I can say these circuits are really, really good. They are. Let's run this from the beginning. Record on. Nothing here. So no. Oh, and it's even getting hot. Something wrong here. Doesn't fit in this position. Let's try another one. This is a GRC 2082. Yes, I can feel it already much better. It's getting hot a little bit. Yes, yeah, it's getting hot. Doesn't fit here in this position. Let's try another one. Anyway, this one here, but the output, it's working great. Another 45. Let's go. Power on. Okay, so this one is working. I think that was a problem with this guy. Let me try this one again. Yeah, it's gone. Sorry, out. Let me have this guy. 2082D. Power on. Record on. It's working great, but it's getting a little warm. But I have to have your opinion about the sound. These capacitors are uh, 0 0.1 microfarads. If we add some higher values, do we change anything? It feels like. Do we have a better bass? What do you think about? No, doesn't do any good. Even worse. Well, in some schematics, these capacitors 0.1 are only 0.47, so let's replace that with 0.47 to see the results, okay? 0.047, in fact, 0.068, okay, that's interesting, and I have another one, of course, okay, let's replace that, perfect, so this is 0.1, set this back in place, so these are three quarters of the original value here, okay, one it's in place, yeah, let me replace the second one, 068. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes, very clear. Of course, deeper bus. The difference is it's greater. Can see that? Much better. Okay. So, what I have done so far, I replaced the output capacitors, these two guys here, with uh, electrolyte capacitor 10 micro. I replaced the two operational with GRC original 4565. And these two capacitors, which uh, in the original schematic, uh, they've been like 0 0.1 microfarads. 
104 so I replace them with 068 and I can reach base a little bit easier okay I think that's it for today I'll do some more in some uh, in the next video when we're gonna test this guy for the input signals uh, waveforms and uh, noise thank you for today See you soon, like, subscribe and have fun, bye!